What's up? I'm Frankie Tinlau. This is my 100 yard interview with Kane Sport. Let's go. What is going on, Kane Sport? It is Zuby Charles, and I'm here at LaSalle High School in Miami with Frankie Tinlau. Ready to get this thing going? Let's get it. Let's go, man. So, first off, Frankie, your journey from Australia to California to Florida. Tell me about that experience and how that journey's been for you, man. Uh, it's definitely been exciting. Uh, we had a lot of hiccups on the way. Um, I feel like everything happened for a reason, and now we are here. It's on the ball up. Now, you being from Australia, man, football is not the biggest sport over there. Tell me how you got into the sport of football and what made you fall in love with it. Um, yeah, I grew up playing rugby, and then ever since then, you know, I kind of just lost passion into it. Uh, hearing stories about my dad playing American football when he was younger, you know, kind of sparked that interest. Um, we always had football on the TV, so, you know, just more things like that. Even Madden, you know, I fell in love with it, so went from there. Okay, and then I know that your last week's game, you came out with the Samoan flag, man. Tell me what that means for you to represent your people, man. Uh, it means a lot, you know, just to bring the, the flag out here to the East Coast. Um, I definitely want to bring the culture out here and kind of show everyone, you know, what it's about. Um, even on the field, everyone's like, man, you Hawaiian, you Hawaiian? Nah, man, I'm Samoan. And, uh, you know, just kind of educate the boys out here. That's awesome, man. Now tell me about the commitment to Miami and why you chose to become a Hurricane. Um, just seeing what they brought to the table. You know, the coaching stuff doesn't get better than that. Um, other than that, you know, Miami's beautiful. We're out here with clear skies. And, you know, I fell in love with the place, fell in love with the city. And the people out here, man, the coach is beautiful. Now, playing under Coach Cristobal, former offensive lineman, what does it mean having that head guy play the same position as you and you can learn from him? Uh, it definitely means a lot. Even just having those extra eyes, especially being the head coach, you know, he's always going to have an eye out on the boys. So, you know, small things, just being at practice, you know, being around the boys, you can see he's always involved in, in the O-line. So, you know, it, it makes me feel a lot better. Now, Frankie, tell me about the relationship with offensive line coach Mirabal. Um, The relationship is really good. You know, continue to build that bond, um, always reaching out. Every game, just seeing how everything goes. Every morning I get a little message, you know, make sure you have a great day, have a great practice. Um, other than that, it's just family. We're always talking about family, chop it up, so it's really good. And then with that 2023 class coming together, looking real special, tell me about your bond and your message to the Hurricane fans. <sighs> class of 23, we're looking great. I'm excited to play with my boys and, you know, hopefully we stick it out, continue, you know, ball out on the field and I can't wait to come in. Um, to the fans, hey, and see is going to be a big one. You know, once we come in, we're going to change the game. It's going to be a great season. Stay tuned and, you know, it's going to be exciting.